Okay. think that this device here could be so handy but it really can especially if you have lower back pain such as I do and what you would do I have a hole here and you don't want to put your pipe all the way in the ground because then you're gonna have dirt there in the bottom you just use this as a guide I've got a seed here just stick it in there cover it up and just sort of pat that and we got some rain coming in pretty soon and um, next I want to uh, let's walk down here a little This is peaches and cream corn here, and you can't even find peaches and cream around here. We got these early season. These were started for seed. We grow everything from seed, and it's coming up nicely. I've got to get some more grass out of here, of course, and we'll walk down through here getting some shots of this corn coming up. This is a pretty nice stock of corn, and we're going to plant some um, sweet corn in here, too. And then over here, we're gonna do some squash and cucumber mounds. And then in the other vegetable garden, we're gonna have some carrots, broccoli, and we have some toes. We're gonna be planting some radishes and beets and some onions in. And we do have some onions actually over here. See right down here. Now something was eating on the tops of them. These are the red onions. They're organic, of course, too. And you can see here, bring the camera in closer so everyone can see. Something was eaten there off the top, but I believe they still might make it there. And I am going to crank the tiller up and show everyone how I've been getting the top layer of grass out. Come on down here and we'll do this. And I really enjoy gardening. It's so rewarding. It's great exercise. And it's very healthy to grow your own. Let's see. I believe I have to turn the switch here first. I flip the switch. Okay.
with the tiller. We this used to be there used to be a lot of cattle out here. There were a lot of cows out in this field, so this is very fertile uh, soil. And our okra did really, really good. It was a couple years ago, and last year we just done the smaller garden over here. So this year we have two vegetable gardens and then we're gonna have the large herb garden. And a lot of the herbs are still in the nursery. And we're gonna walk back here and do a tour of some blueberries back here. And this is a magnolia tree. I don't know why the flowers haven't started coming out yet, but they eventually will. And it's so shady back here. Uh, we're gonna, we're thinking about clearing out some of this wooded proper, property back here. It was cleared out years ago. And we're gonna have some more stuff planted back in here. And these blueberries, they are just loaded right now. They are just loaded in blueberries. And we're hoping we can eat them before the birds get to them. And there are just clusters everywhere. And around here too, they're just full of clusters right now. I don't want to touch them too much and make them fall, but they're still really green right now. And be delicious in some blueberry ice cream. And over here, of course, we have another one. And it is just loaded too. The, just look at all these clusters. Bring the camera in closer. Look at all these clusters here. Beautiful. Make some great blueberry ice cream and all sorts of good things that you can do with blueberries. Okay, I want to walk around here and show uh, a couple banana trees that I split up. They came from Lowe's a few years ago. It was, I found the worst one that I could find because Lowe's is really good about marking down their plants. And the ones that looked really good at the time were like 30 bucks. And I found the worst one that I could find. I doctored it up and got it for five bucks. And actually I did not cover this up in the winter. And I divided it up. Now this one here, this foliage here is not doing as well as it should. But this one over here, it is doing really well. Just get come down here and get a center shot of this. And I plan on doing some tamales out of these banana leaves. Some like the banana leaves, but Traditionally, I do make my tamales out of the corn husk, and we're going to have plenty of corn to do tamales, so hopefully that goes well, too. Okay, here we have the pear trees. These things are just absolutely loaded right now in pears, and sometimes they will fall to the ground, and the wasp will come out here and they will get drunk off of them. I know that sounds crazy, but they really do that. And around here, I mean, they are just everywhere. Just loaded. Be careful walking in this here. And this one, it's not doing so good. This one will look like it's a goner and then it'll just spring back to life. Okay. And then over here, these cannons, I cleaned these out just about a week ago, and as you can tell, I've got to clean some more out here, and this stuff, it just pulls right up, but they have just exploded in size. I cannot believe this. Last year, they did not get this large this quick, but the ones that have the red leaves will have the red uh, flowers. And like over here, here's just a solid green one. It will have a yellow flower and these will have the red flowers. Okay, so over here, I have uh, 
have my mammoth here and believe it or not believe it or not just um, a week ago it was just two small little uh, two or three small little sproutings so I added some of the miracle Grow organic compost that's aged and it I just added a little on there and it has just exploded if you ever if you ever have any roots showing you want to cover those up because that will stunt the growth on these elephant ears they're doing really well they look so good okay we're gonna walk around let's see this way and I want to show everyone outside it has sort of drooped a little but I've got a big green pot that is going to be going in so coming around here and this is wisteria it's not the type of wisteria I love wisteria by the way and I have some other wisteria I didn't show that's over there and but this one is not you can't kill this stuff you can trim it back, clip the root, and it will still come back. But the wisteria that I love is the kind that it grows up tall and it has the long lavender purple blossoms growing down. Now, here's one of my tomato plants. This is a ruggard, and... I've got to add some more soil to that when I have just have transplanted this one and here's another roker and around front we're gonna walk around there in a minute and over here I want you to come back here and get a good shot these are the old-timey petunias these will come back year after year but as you can see they're about they just about outgrew these pots here so we're gonna be probably having to transplant those to the ground and I would like to do a few in some hanging baskets and then of course here this is a laundry hamper if you can't afford um, the big flower pots you can get these at Walmart for five bucks drill some holes down in the bottom and they have these handles where they're really easy to move around this is a rugger Okay, over here, I want to show everyone. These plants here, uh, this comes, is it this one or this one that comes from the 100 generation? 200 generation? Years old. Okay, this comes from a 200 oh. year old uh, plant that is still... Uh, it was transplanted here. Um, his mother had these, and she he brought some from her house. And come up and get a close up. What was the story on that? These here, they, they haven't. This is the 200 year old. Plants, okay, these. Them. I don't know what they're like. These are the 200. I'm sorry. These are the 200 year old ones, and they have a pretty. Let's see, it's a red blossom, isn't it? that comes out on these okay and over here we have the lilies we've got some weeding to do with all this rain we've been having here lately and here's the angel isn't she adorable and I'm going to plant maybe some hostas over here I'm not sure yet and I want everyone to come up and get a good look at these grape clusters. These are absolutely gorgeous. We don't make wine, but 
for those of you out there who do make wine, you, I'm, this may sound crazy, but you have to actually, whatever your dirt tastes like, and how your grapes, your wine is going to taste. So, you, what you have, you have to experiment and put different things in the dirt because, however, your dirt tastes. You literally have to taste your dirt. I'm not kidding. To have good wine because whatever the dirt tastes like in turn is what your wine is going to taste like. These are just some beautiful clusters. Now the birds really love these, but we managed to get some off there. Did you see something up there? Poison ivy. You're touching that. Oh wow. Okay. He just told me I may have been touching some poison ivy. Oops. I'll go in and wash up here soon. We got to work on getting that out. We're gonna walk around front here and it looks like we've got a storm coming up, but I love the weather right before a storm. I love the weather. It's just so breezy and nice. Japanese maple. Japanese maple or myrtle. This thing was nearly dead and it was just cut down to a stump and it has just really blossomed back out. It's absolutely looking gorgeous. Around here, I want to show everyone some tomatoes. I showed everyone around back the ruggards. These are the money makers. And these are organic. These were started from seed. These came from the Red Barn Nursery in Chattanooga. And these are a couple of my large red cherry. I don't have quite room yet uh, to put those out back yet. So I'm just going to sit these up here. And I rotate them ever so often. So. We're starting to get a little rain, so I'll hurry this up. These are the rest of the large red cherry, and they are going to be going out in the other vegetable garden that I told everyone about. And up here, I have my peppers. I have the hot cayenne pepper. These are all organic as well. Here's the sweet banana pepper. I love banana peppers. And these are the sweet bell pepper. And I don't have to separate them at this point yet because they don't have blooms. But when they do, you absolutely have to separate them because they will cross-pollinate. You might have a banana pepper that's hot like a hot cayenne pepper. And we certainly wouldn't want that. And it's starting to rain, so I'm not going to have time to show everyone all of the herbs in the nursery. And But hopefully, maybe in the next couple weeks, I'll have those moved out to the herb garden. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video today. And if you do like these videos, hit that like button and ring that bell so you'll be sent notifications and you don't miss a thing. So, and until next time, may God bless you and God keep you.